pick the right shot for the right situation. You know, we have pitching and, and chipping. You know, I don't consider them the same. They're very different. If you have this kind of shot that we have presented here, this is pretty tight lie. It's a little bit into the grain because you're going uphill. Um, but to this, this short flag here, you, you don't have a lot of green to work with, but it's uphill. So you can carry it onto the green and you want it to roll out like a, like a putt. So that would be a chip for me. I want the ball to come out with top spin, end over end, uh, and getting rolling towards the hole. That's how I feel like I'm gonna have the best chance of making this shot. You know, if I was in the same situation, but it was downhill and I needed to get a little bit of grab on the ball, then I would go to a pitch shot. Okay. And uh, different technique, I'm creating a little bit more spin, a little bit more check when it hits the ground and uh, able so the ball doesn't get too far away from me when, when, when it's going down the hill. Awesome. And so when it comes to the common mistakes um, that you feel amateurs make, you know, moving the ball position, you know, back in their stance, right. you know, what negative effect can that have on somebody's short game? Well, especially on a shot like this, where you're uphill into the grain, if you, you, as soon as you move that ball position back, you're exposing the front edge of the, of the club. So the, the, the Sam wedge or the, or the, or your lob wedge here that I have has a very sharp front edge but it has the bounce on the back, which is very smooth and glides through the, the grass nicely. It's, it's designed to do that. So, you know, when you, when you have a shot in a, in a, in a, um, off a short shot like this on grass, you want that back edge gliding along the sand, uh, along the grass. As, long as, as soon as you start adding angle to the lean the shaft, you're exposing that front edge. It's going to get stuck in the ground. It's going to dig, especially into a grain like this. For sure. And it's going to compromise your strike pretty much. Yep. You're either going to hit it fat or, you know, you'll try and hit up on the ball, get the ball up in the air. You'll lean your center back and you'll hit it thin. So, again, you want to create, give yourself the best opportunity to get the, the best strike on this by, by proper set, setup fundamentals. Awesome. And so uh, let's have you hit a couple and kind of walk us through, you know, if we would go to the short pin here yeah, and then so we'll move on to some I probably shots. wouldn't use my, my, my 60 here. This is a chip up the hill. I don't have to get, get the ball spinning. As I said, I either use my 54, I could even use the pitching wedge, but I'll start with my 54. Again, the, the way the club again is designed is has um, more bounce on the toe. So this one, the, the toe side tends to go through the grass nicely. The, the heel gets a little bit more stuck. So again, the more you lean shaft, the more you're exposing that front edge, that, that heel, it's gonna get dig. So, but this one, I want the ball, to, when it hits the ground, I want it to roll end over end towards the cup, just like a putt. So it's a little bit of a similar setup to, to, to how I would if I was just standing over here with a putter. I'm gonna get the ball a little bit more forward again. I want the, the center, leaning just slightly to the left, pretty central, but I want this, this uh, shaft nice and vertical, and I want the handle like leaning up a little bit. So I'm exposing the toe a little bit. And there, for, there it's just like rocking the shoulders. Again, I'm getting this, the toe of the club to slide. It's not gonna dig too much and create, hit that grain so much. So it's gonna slide through it. I, I think that's extremely impactful, just being able to get the heel off the ground, exposing the part of the club that has more bounce. Yeah. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And a little bit more of a, a, um, a putting grip as well. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it more in my palms, less in the fingers. I'm not trying to create power here. Yeah. Um, and I'm just trying to rock my shoulders. So again, try and get the ball rolling end over end. One time. Uh so great shot the, there. Who put the break in there? I know it wasn't me. Um, so let's talk a little bit in terms of, you know, let's say you're chipping a little bit more into the grain versus off of a tighter lie. Um, and then we're going to talk about uphill versus downhill and side hill lies, certainly. But what's your thought process when it comes to distance control? I mean, 